Jake Irvin, three starts since getting his turn skipped in the rotation. He's pitched to a 2.70 in those three outings. Matt McClain stands in with nobody on and one out. Here's the pitch. Swing and a foul tip held by K. Brent Ruiz for strike three on a 97 mile an hour heater. And the pitch swinging a ground ball toward the middle, chasing his Abrams to his left, has it. Behind second, throws on one hop to Smith, and in time for the out to retire the side. Zeros on the board, bottom one. The Reds look to Luke Weaver tonight. The team wins, and they score a lot of runs when he takes them out, so he's kind of a good luck charm for the Reds. And Lane Thomas to lead off for the Nationals. Now the 2-1 on the way. Swung on, belted a deep left field. This was way back and over the head of the left fielder, Benson, and bouncing into the visitor's bullpen in left center field. Lane Thomas with a leadoff two base hit his 22nd of the year. Candelario bats with a runner at third and one out. Swing and a miss struck him nice, out. Nice nice climb the ladder and Candelario went up there after it. He's down on strikes two away. Swing and it's a ground ball to first up with it is Votto. He will wave off the pitcher and take it himself and that is a zero ERA <laughs> first inning for Luke Weaver. Good sign for the red starter. He works around the leadoff double and we head to the second inning one away for Jake Fraley 2 one swing. And there's a ground ball through the right side. That's a base hit for Fraley. So he is on short compact swing what every hitting coach wants and you combine that with Fraley's ability to know the strike zone and boy he puts the barrel on the ball. Spencer steers up there with a runner at first and two outs pitch steer bounces it Beautiful. through the right side that'll trickle into right for a base hit Thomas up throwing Fraley will go first to third basically what steer did is he took a hit and run swing just stayed inside the ball and actually was making his swing late on purpose just hit it through the right side of the infield Lane Thomas thought he was going to have a play at third until he bobbled that baseball Tyler Stevenson that's now the pitch Stevenson hits a rocket over short into left field base hit that's down for a single steer up to third as Fraley scores the Reds first run one nothing Cincinnati well just as we begin to talk about line drives and space in the outfield the Reds come to the hit party we talk about all the rookies here in this Reds lineup well this man uh, Jonathan Indy was the rookie of the year two years ago he turns kicks throws swing a fly ball blasted to left center field Hill going back to the warning track at the wall. Leaps, makes the catch, slams into the wall and holds on. He timed his leap perfectly, braced for impact, and made a nice catch. One, two, three, they go. One nothing Cincinnati after two and a half. De La Cruz was done on three pitches his first time up. And De La Cruz shoots one through the left side. A ground ball right between short and third, and that's into left field. So a leadoff single for De La Cruz to begin the Reds' fourth. De La Cruz is up to second base on the three unassisted ground out. And now the Reds really need to get this guy going. Joey Votto will stand in. Skies this ball to pretty deep left center. Derek Hill going back. That's got carry. That is gone. Hello, Joey. Votto sucks one opposite gap. Joey Votto a two run home run into the Reds bullpen in deep left center. He goes the other way to stretch the Reds lead to three nothing. Chamber Candelario will begin the home fourth for the Nationals. Candelario was out on strikes his first time up the two one. Swing a fly ball straight away center and deep back in this one Friedel to the warning track at the wall he leaps and it is gone right over the 402 mark in dead center field Jamer Candelario with home run number 12 gets the Nationals on the board Friedel made a leaping attempt at the fence but it was just out of his reach over the eight foot fence right at the 402 mark Candelario really knew it I think he thought he had it all the way two out runner at second top of the fifth Reds leading three to one and now here comes De La Cruz. Here's the 3 2 with two out to pitch. In there, strike three call. Threw him another curveball, and he locks up Taylor Cruz. Thomas doubled to left in the first inning. One out here, second baseman India way up the middle. First baseman Votto's playing halfway to second base. Payoff. Votto and Fraley over. An expansive foul ground. Votto extends. Bobbles makes the catch. And a strong throw to third base. That's a really nice play for Joey Votto. The J.R. House over the shoulder touchdown. I could see Joey as that kind of H back uh, Rob Gronkowski. And now Luis Garcia bats and he swings and sends a high deep drive. Right center field but the park will hold it. As Friedel fades back and as he reaches the warning track he makes the catch. On that long fly out by Garcia. Nice comeback. So another leadoff man aboard for the Nats with Smith and Manessis due up next. Pitch count now at 84 for Luke Weaver. 
Dominic Smith, the line drive over a leaping Jonathan India. So back to back Nationals reach here in the sixth. We saw some good swings out of Dom all weekend. K. Bear Ruiz, the man on the spot. 3 1 Cincinnati, runners first and third. Jabot, the big right hander, is ready, and he fires. Swinging a line drive right field. That's a base hit. One hop fielded by Fraley and right. Coming in to score is Candelario. Smith moves up to second, and Ruiz delivers. The Nationals within a run. It's now the Reds three and the Nationals two. RBI 31 for Ruiz. Ruiz snaps the 0 for 11 with a line drive base hit to right. A walk, three strikeouts, and the home run to Votto that right now is the difference in the game. There is a swing and a miss at a high fastball and a strikeout for Weems. Lows 95 past Tyler Stevenson. The 3 2 from Weems. In there over the inside corner, locked him up with a fastball. Strike three called. So Weems has back to back strikeouts, trying to hold the deficit where it is. Here it is. Swing and a foul tip held on to by Ruiz, and that is strike three. So Weems fans three, works around the hit by pitch. New pitcher for the Reds will be right-hander. Yes, the Reds' closer, Alexis Diaz. Well, it seems like we have seen Diaz a whole lot lately. Second most saves in the National League. And the 2-1, and Ruiz pops it up on the infield. And the grass between the mound and first base. Joey Votto calling. He makes the catch, and there's one out. And now Corey Dickerson, the batter. The kick and the pitch. Swung on. Ground ball right side toward the hole. Backhanded by McLean. Double pump. His throw will be way late. In a little trouble getting it out of the glove, and then could not get enough on the throw. And the Nationals have the tying run on base. And they will immediately send it a runner for Corey Dickerson. That'll be Stone Garrett. Let's see what CJ could do 0 for 3 tonight. The 1-1. One, one. Runner goes. The pitch, a ball. Throw to second. Got him! What a throw! Luke Maley taking over behind the plate. Just threw a seed down to second base with McClain covering. That is dynamite execution. Well, we talk all the time about the absolute rocket that Maley has attached to that right shoulder. Payoff. Roll to India. He gobbles. Reds win. Diaz bolts down his 24th save. That forges a tie for the most in the National League. And the Reds claim the opener in our nation's capital. America's team takes it 3-2.